So we are urgently looking for programmers like yourself. My best friend's a programmer as well, and he's also looking for a job. Would you be interested in meeting with him? Well, sure. This is Kevin Campbell speaking. How can I help you? I am quite impressed by your resume. When would you like to come in for an interview? 4 p.m. How's that? I will see you then. Hi, Ms. Harris. Yes. I'm here for the 4 p.m. appointment. Well, I just don't think you would make a good fit for this company. I mean, I'm sure you talked to Scott. Like, he, he knows I'm a great programmer and I know all the coding, the, the languages. He's just more seasoned and, and a better fit for this company. Well, based on your credentials, I think you'd make a great fit for this company. That's great news, Ms. Harris. I love programming, and I agree. I think I'd be a good fit for this company as well. Well, that's great to hear, and I agree 100%. Now, right now, our company is in a bit of a growth spurt, so we are urgently looking for programmers like yourself. So when can you start? I can start tomorrow if you want me to. I'm ready. Well, then great. I'll see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Awesome. Yeah. I can't wait. You know what, before I forget, you, you mentioned that you're in need of more programmers, is that correct? That's correct. My best friend's a programmer as well, and he's also looking for a job. Would you be interested in meeting with him? Well, sure. I mean, as long as he's qualified for the job, that is. Okay, I'm hired, right? Yeah. If I'm being honest, he's a better programmer than I am. Real whiz kid. Well, that is great. Why don't you have him email me his resume, and as soon as I see it, I'll set up an interview with him. That's amazing. I'll do just that. Thank you again so oh, yeah. much. Really so welcome. I will see you tomorrow then at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. I'll be here. Okay, great. See you then. Hello. Hi, Stephanie. Hello, Mr. Powell. Stephanie, could you come in to my office, please? Sure, I'll be right over. Thank you, Stephanie. Come in, come in. Come in, take a seat, please. Hello, Mr. Powell. How are you? As you know, our new project is well underway, and I just wanted to make sure that we're on the right track. Actually, I just finished interviewing a stellar candidate. He's smart, he's sharp as a whip. He's a really nice guy and I hired him on the spot. His name is Scott Martin. That's great. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need a lot of help with this. So you got any other potential uh, candidates? Well, yeah, I have a couple of interviews set up and actually our new hire, Scott, referred me to one of his colleagues. So I'm just waiting for you know, him to send his resume over to me and as soon as I get it, I will set up an interview with him. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. You are really doing a good job with these potential candidates. Thank you. Just keep me up to date this week, will you? I absolutely will, Mr. Powell. Thank you, Stephanie. Oh, you're welcome. This is Kevin Campbell speaking. How can I help you? Good morning, Kevin. This is Stephanie Harris. I'm the manager with Global Tech in Mango Park. I just received your email with your resume. Oh, hi, Ms. Harris. How are you doing? Um, thanks for getting back to me so quickly. Oh, you're welcome. And may I say, I am quite impressed by your resume. Plus, you came highly recommended from your friend Scott Martin. Well, thank you. And yeah, um, Scott, he, he's a great guy and a great programmer. Well, I'm just going to cut to the chase with this. When would you like to come in for an interview? Oh, um, how about tomorrow? I got a better idea. How about this afternoon? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be there at 4 p.m. How's that? 4 p.m. it is. I will see you then. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Harris. All right. Bye-bye now. Wow. Come in. Hi, Miss Harris. Yes. I'm here for the 4 p.m. appointment. 
Oh, um, I'm sorry. You must be confused. I'm expecting a gentleman named Kevin Campbell at 4 p.m. Yes, I'm, I'm Kevin. We, we called on the phone earlier today, and you hired my friend Scott. Okay, so you're Kevin Campbell. Yes. I'm sorry, I was expecting... Oh, never mind. Have a seat. Thank you. So, I um, printed out your resume earlier today and I looked it over again and I'm sorry to say, but you just don't have the right experience for this position. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Um, when you called me earlier today, you seemed really excited about the resume. Well, yes, as I said, I mean, after we finished talking, I looked it over again and, well, I'm just don't think you would make a good fit for this company. Okay, well, no disrespect, Ms. Harris, but you could have just canceled this interview then. You know what? Didn't even cross my mind. You know, I'm so busy. I'm sure you understand. I mean, sure, but I'm, I'm just, like, what exactly, like, turned you off about my resume? I mean, I'm sure you talked to Scott. Like, he, he knows I'm a great programmer and I know all the coding, the, the languages. Well, Scott has more experience. He's just more seasoned and, and a better fit for this company. So it's a cultural fit, is that right? Look, I'm sorry. It's my fault that I didn't call you to cancel after we spoke on the phone, but I changed my mind and I don't think that you're a good fit for this company. I know what this is. Mm. You don't think that I'm right for the job? even though my credentials prove otherwise. I mean, how could some black kid know how to call, right? Is that what you're thinking, Mrs. Harris? How dare you accuse me of such nonsense? Now, I need you to leave this office right now. Don't deny it, you know I'm right. I said leave the office now. What is going on here? I can hear you two arguing all the way down in my office. I I'm sorry, Mr. Powell. We were just finishing up. Are you her boss? Yes, I'm the CEO of this company. Okay, you guys are running a very terrible company right now. Matter of fact, I'm glad you guys didn't hire me. Why would you say that, young man? Because you're hiring people based on skin color, that's why. Stephanie, what is going on here? Mr. Powell, it was just a big misunderstanding, that's all. A misunderstanding? Yeah. You only wanted me here because of my credentials. But as soon as I walked through that door, you only saw me from my skin color and you didn't even want to talk to me. That is not true. It is true, you know it. <clears throat> and let me see his resume. There you go. Wow, this is impressive. Uh, what issue do you have with this? Well, a couple of things, but the main thing is his a lack of experience. Stephanie, this man can program in nine different languages. I've never met anybody that can do that. Plus, he's done work for our top two clients and our biggest competitor. May I ask, what else are you looking for? Mr. Powell, um, could I have a word with you in private, please? Yes, uh, of course. We'll just be a second, Mr. Campbell. Just wait here, please. Mr. Pell, why were you so insistent on hiring that guy? Stephanie, we need programmers, and that guy fits the bill perfectly. Yeah, but I mean, really, seriously, can you picture him working here? Yeah, yeah, yes, I can. Well, what's the problem? Mr. Pell, do I have to spell it out to you? Oh, I know where you're going with this. And frankly, I'm appalled and disgusted. I mean, I'm just trying to protect your company, that's all. Protect my company? Yeah. Your actions could potentially destroy my company. What are you talking about? We value diversity at this company. Diversity in thought, age, gender, ethnicity. What we don't tolerate is hatred or discrimination of any kind. Now, I want you out of here at the end of this business day. You 
you can't do that, Mr. Powell. I, you just can't. I need this job. I want you out of here. Pack your things and get out. But you can't. You can't do this to me. I'm going back in the conference room. I'm going to hire this young man. And if you're still here when I come out, I'm going to call the police and have you arrested for trespassing. Oh, Mr. Powell. Am I clear? Am I clear, Miss Harris? Crystal. I apologize for making you wait. Where'd she go? Miss Harris no longer works for this company. What happened? Well, she really doesn't represent what this company is trying to do, and I hope she didn't completely discourage you. Now, can we talk about the position? Yeah, I'd be more than happy to talk about the position. Good, that's great, because we'd love to have you join our company. When can I start? <laughs> that's the spirit. Oh, well, I probably should ask about the benefits, you know, the salary, the, the hours. Starting programmer starts at 150K a year. You get a comprehensive health program with dental, uh, there's two weeks paid vacation and 10 sick days. Uh, the work hours are nine to six with a one hour lunch. And did I mention there's a 401k? Sounds good to me. Thank you. Be here tomorrow at nine. And uh, oh, by the way, your friend Scott also starts tomorrow, same day. That's amazing. I'm, I'm very excited and I'm happy to be on board. I'm excited too. I think this is the beginning of a very wonderful work relationship. Thank you.